Hi, I'm James, and I have a slightly weird question for you. Wouldn't it be great if you were psychic and you could actually see inside your listeners' minds? Sound interesting? Stay right there. Okay, so I'm not actually going about being really psychic, but what I am talking about is asking your guests and your experts who you're interviewing on maybe a podcast or your radio show the right kinds of questions. The sort of questions that, you know, your listeners are actually pondering themselves. There is a couple of amazing tools which have just come around recently, which are absolutely fantastic when it comes to writing the right kind of questions for the person that you're interviewing. The sort of questions that are already being asked on the internet, so you can make sure that your interview is gonna kill it and also make sure that your content is really suited to your audience. So let's dive in, I wanna show you how to use these tools. Okay, so we've gone to the internet and we've searched for Also Asked. Let's head to AlsoAsked.com. Now this is a fantastic tool. My friend Phil P Paluccia uh, actually introduced me to this very recently. Um, there's another one which is similar, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, but this is awesome. And this is so powerful if you want to find out questions that people are actually asking on the internet. Um, when I said earlier being psychic, I wasn't actually talking about literally being psychic, but what we can do is we can leverage data that is out there, it's public information because Google are kindly providing it to us, and we can kind of drill down into some of the common themes and topics and the questions that people are searching for on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, let's go for example, well actually let's go for this protein shakes because I actually know nothing uh, about protein shakes. Uh, I know it's a huge industry and I know you can make lots of money selling protein shakes. There are certainly lots of companies that have killed it there, um, but it's something I have know nothing about. So if you perhaps have a fitness podcast or you have, um, you know, like a motivational podcast and you've got an expert coming on to talk about protein shakes, but you have no idea really the intricacies and the ins and outs about them or sort of what sort of, question, sort of questions people might be asking about that, we can type that in, we can hit search, and then we kind of get this kind of really cool, um, it's almost like a mind map, uh, which will take you through uh, sort of various topics within the topic and then ultimately provide a list of questions. So, you know, if we can zoom in here, let's have a look. So this is really great. So obviously we start with our key term, protein shakes. So are protein shakes good for weight loss? What are the bad side effects of protein shakes? Uh, what does a protein shake do to your body? What is the best protein shake? And then from this, we have like f more questions. So for example, um, you know, do protein shakes make you gain weight? Should you drink them to uh, fast or slow? How much weight can you lose on shakes? So there's a whole bunch of questions here which are written right for us all based on you know this one topic of protein shakes. This is what people are searching for, right? So when you're actually creating content for your radio show, for your podcast, and you have uh, the privilege of interviewing someone who's an expert in a certain field, like rather than asking them just the same old questions each time, you know, tell us your backstory, you know, what did you eat for dinner, whatever, Try and think about actually how you can be intelligent about the questions you're asking them. Sure, you can ask them the generic questions, you can find out a bit about them, what they do, blah, blah, blah. But you have that opportunity to sit in front of someone who is like top of their game on a specific kind of subject. So you need to make sure that the questions you're gonna ask them is actually what people want to know. And you know, again, you can even look at doing sometimes a whole series on one topic. So you might decide you want to do a whole series or several different episodes on these different topics. So this is really not good just for coming up with questions for your guests, but it's actually a good idea for just generally coming up with a content plan for your podcast. Because as I say, this is all based on data. This isn't just like what you think is the right questions to ask or what you think people might want to know. This is actually what people want to know. So let's uh, have a look at a second website. Okay, so the second tool that I want to show you today, which will allow you to mind read your audience and find out exactly what people are really asking out there on the internet, is called Answer the Public. Let's head on to their website here. As you can see, very similar format. We just get given a search term. So I might want to switch this, say, to the US, uh, stay with English. And let's say I've got an expert who's coming onto my show to discuss real estate investing, okay? So let's type in real estate investing. Hit the search bar and we'll find out what people are asking about this particular topic. As you can see here, you know, it takes a couple of seconds to kind of do its voodoo and uh, figure out the uh, data and do all that mind reading stuff or whatever. And we've come up with 51 different questions here. So lots and lots of questions. This is kind of a bit of a weird 
sort of super exciting like wheel of fortune thing going on you can actually switch this just to like data view which is a bit more easier to digest and you can even download this is cv but uh, csv by the way which is awesome you know is real estate investing hard how to start real estate investing with no money how to start real estate with little money where to start real estate investing you know how real estate investing works so these are all good questions that i could potentially ask you know someone who's an expert in real estate investing so there we go that is how you can literally predict what your listeners want to know when it comes to interviewing any expert on pretty much any subject thanks very much for watching this video leave your comments below by the way and let me know how you prepare questions for guests were you aware of either of these websites or do you have any other sneaky resources that you go to let me know in the comments and i'll speak to you soon Hey, before you go anywhere, I have a quick question for you. Do you have a podcast? And if you do, do you want to book more interesting, high-profile guests on your show? Well, if you answered yes to either of these questions, I'd love to invite you to come and join our community over at matchmaker.fm. Matchmaker is a service that connects awesome podcasts just like yours with incredible and high-profile guests that make for really interesting conversations. It's really straightforward to get started and completely free to sign up. Just connect using your LinkedIn, Facebook, or Google account, and then you can begin connecting with guests based on their area of expertise, location, and much more. If you haven't checked it out already, go to matchmaker.fm, get started. It's just like Tinder, but for podcasters.